Hey everyone, this is Stuart with three dogs in an RV and I'm gonna share some very, very important news if you are our FMCA Tech Connect Plus member right after this. Hey everyone, this is Stuart back with another three dogs in an RV news flash. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, I'm not gonna get too crazy. Don't wanna repeat or uh, mimic others in the channel here or in the uh, RV community that uh, make those same noises. Anyway, got some very important news to share with you today. I just got an email uh, at 12.56 p.m. It is now 1.21 p.m. here on uh, June the 14th. I just got this email from the FMCA. So here's the email. Basically kind of, so I don't have to read it all to you. They're basically saying that their relationship with T-Mobile for the Tech Connect Plus, T-Mobile Sprint have been uh, providing internet services to FMC members through their Tech Connect Plus, which is a small MiFi device. I'll link to a video in the description below one I did a while back on this service. Uh, so anyway, back to the email. They have basically ended their relationship with T-Mobile. So they say, effective June 7th, a week ago today, they have uh, formulated a relationship with AT&T. AT&T will now be the provider of the mobile hotspot. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I seem to like T-Mobile, uh, but you know, AT&T is uh, my cell phone provider and it seems to work well wherever we go to. Back to the, R and we, by the way, we still have our Starlink. And so that's, uh, this is a backup plan to our Starlink. We're using our Tech Connect Plus right now here in Hilton Head because Starlink is not working because there's too many trees. Anyway, back to the article, uh, the email here. So June 7th, uh, all Tech Connect Plus members have an option to um, buy in or convert over. So some of the things I can point out here is that uh, they are putting a seven, there is, it's still truly unlimited, but there's a big but here, 75 gigs, they can start to do what they call network management. So what that means in highly congested areas, like say a big city or a campground that's got a lot of Tech Connect Plus members. After 75 gigs, they can start throttling your bandwidth down. Now, T-Mobile uh, Tech Connect Plus also had this at 50 gigs. I just never really experienced it with the T-Mobile. So hopefully that rolls over to uh, the AT&T one as well. But anyway, 75 gigs of data per month, uh, you'll see some reduced speeds potentially. I'm not saying you will, but they may uh, you may experience that. Really what that means is that if you're over your 75 gigs, you'll become a lower priority on the network, which slows it. There's still no contract uh, and um, you can't bring your own device. So you have to basically get a device from the FMCA um, on the key on the AT&T network. Uh, the biggest difference they claim here in the article is that uh, uh, with AT&T versus the current carriers that you can have more than one hotspot on this plan. Oh, okay, well, that's that's cool. Uh, and the price is going up. So the price is going up from $49.99 to $59.99. And of course, they say this is the first price increase since 2017, which 50, 60 bucks for internet is still relatively um, affordable for most people. So if you're currently an FMCA Plus member, here's how you convert over. So basically, you're gonna log into the FMCA website. I'm already logged in, so you, your login would be up here. You're gonna go to the basically the benefits area here and find the Tech Connect Plus. Click on that. And if you uh, are switching over, uh, you will uh, see a thing on your screen right here. I've already switched over. You should see it about right here saying that, uh, do you want to migrate over to uh, AT&T? So, uh, so that's basically uh, how it works now. Um, so yeah, so here's the instructions in the email uh, if you want to uh, follow along there. If you choose no and you don't want to go over at and you have 45 days basically to uh, um, send, it, send the information back, send your information back and then your uh, T-Mobile Sprint hotspot. So there you go, that answers the question. So 45 days from now roughly, so 40-ish days um, the T-Mobile site will shut down. So I'm expecting mine. I already put my request in three to five business days. I should hit the new box here uh, in uh, Hilton Head where we're at. And uh, we'll do a video on how that uh, 
what that looks like once we'll do a before and after. So before we uh, shut down the T-Mobile and switch over to the other one, we'll uh, do a, a speed comparison and see what it's like here in Hilton with the new Tech Connect Plus. All right, everyone. So let's do a quick a speed test here of the uh, current T-Mobile setup that we have with the FMCA Tech Connect Plus. So I'm gonna just put a, I'm just gonna put a screen capture of our speed test here on T-Mobile. And then we're gonna switch over to the new AT&T and see just how different it is. So here's the speed test on the T-Mobile servers right now. All right, so we got all the, the devices here. We got the uh, new uh, Wi-Fi box here. Uh, we got, looks like we got a SIM card as well to go with it right here and all the required cables. So we're gonna go and try to put all this stuff together. All right, so first step, you gotta put the battery in. Pretty straightforward, slap her in there. Well, I thought it was pretty straightforward. Helps you put it in the right way. And before I put this all together, let's find out where the SIM card goes. I guess that's why we read instructions, because the SIM card actually goes underneath the battery in that little spot right there. So let's go get that all put together. Take it out of the uh, plastic uh, card that comes with it. And then you just, uh, looks like it just goes right in that spot right there. So let's figure out how to get that open without dropping the whole thing all over the place. All right, there's the uh, SIM card in there. Let's put the battery back in the place here. We'll put the cover back on. See if there's any power in this thing. Hit the welcome light there. See that? There we go. So I'm gonna, uh, let this thing boot up and then we'll come back and configure it all. All right, so we got the uh, device all plugged in. If you didn't have to go and configure your own network settings, it's pretty much plug and play. You can basically follow the instructions in the book and uh, you're good to go. So let's do a speed test now that we're on AT&T now compared to the T-Mobile. Let's run our speed test and we'll uh, put the results right here. Bing. All right, so a heck of a lot slower than the T-Mobile so That could be where we're at, but you know, right now here in Hilton Head, where we're located, and where I actually have the device, it's a lot slower. I just have it right next to me, right over here. Uh, but it's a lot slower than the uh, T-Mobile one. So uh, we're gonna move it back to it where it's supposed to be, and we'll see if it's any change uh, in the uh, speed. All right, so one quick test before we uh, move it to a more permanent home. Uh, I switched the network over to 5G versus the 2.4, uh, or the, yeah, 2.4 gigahertz over to 5 gigahertz. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, so uh, faster on the upload, slower on the download, interesting. So okay, let's go move the box now to its permanent home and we'll see what comes out of it once we have it in its permanent location here in the rig. All right, so in closing, uh, is the AT&T uh, device here, what is it called again, the Moxie, Moxie, M-O-X-E-E, -E. is it worth it? Well, where we're at right now in um, Hilton Head, T-Mobile still rules supreme, so uh, AT&T, uh, a lot slower than the T-Mobile connection through the Tech Connect program. Um, so a uh, little bit of a failing grade there. But again, this is gonna be a backup for us to our Starlink and we're using it here in Hilton because of all the trees. So uh, our Starlink's not working here right now. So yeah, maybe a good, it's, it's $10 more. Um, I know corporate stuff happens and T-Mobile backed away from the deal with the, FMC, the FMCA. So uh, at t gets a pass. But uh, here in Hilton, not as good as uh, as what we had with T-Mobile. So, well, that's life. You can complain or you can adapt and we're gonna adapt and we'll see what it's like in Myrtle Beach and a few other places we go. Uh, but again, most places we'll be able to use our Starlink. So not a, not a big concern for us. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Three Dogs in RV. My name is Stuart and uh, hope you like, appreciate this little bit of a review. I try not to keep it too technical because uh, this techie stuff can confuse a lot of folks. So I'll try to keep it simple. Technic Plus, just plug it in, follow the instructions, and you should be good. All right, everybody. It's been a week since we got this AT&T device from uh, the FMCA Tech Connect program. And I have to say, we're sending it back. I don't know where it's at, if it's because of where we're at right now, um, but the its speeds are just absolutely horrible. Uh, a lot of buffering, just dropouts. Our AT&T cell phones, funny enough, seem to be working fine, so I'm not sure if it's the 
service or the, the device or whatever. But anyway, we're sending it back. Uh, it looks like we're gonna cancel FMCA TechNet Plus. We're back on the T-Mobile one, it's still working and I got 10 megs through there. So that uh, seems to be working fine for a temporary thing. We just uh, ordered a new internet service thanks to Izzy and MJ at NSR being for the tip. And we'll probably review that one once we get it as a backup for uh, a heck of a lot less than what we're paying FMCA. All right, we'll uh, end this video here and we'll talk to y'all later. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Three Dogs in an RV. I'm Stuart and make sure you like, comment and subscribe below.